Shalom Makim, Mr. Brother Lahab, coming at you with a quick little lesson in the spirit. And um, first and foremost, I want to start off by giving infinite honor, infinite glory to the Most High and His Son, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakal Kodash. Double honors to our elders and apostles of a great millstone who pushed his truth 100%. Being a great example to us younger brothers And peace and blessings to the Hakeem of Thunder Elders Pushing the same truth throughout the four winds With all faith, sincerity, and diligence To you he say Shalom And um You know the spirit was on me To uh You know To get in on uh To get in the Get on uh faith You know because uh we're coming in times, man, where that's the only thing that we can rely on, man. You know, is our faith, man. And, you know, the the wisdom and knowledge that we're getting from these scriptures, man. And, and once again, maintaining the faith to, to get us through it, man. Matter of fact, I'm going to get that real quick. But oh well, spirit hit me. I'm just gonna get it. This is uh, this is Isaiah chapter 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. And that's right, man. The wisdom, the wisdom and knowledge of uh, of these scriptures, man. You know, that's gonna be that's gonna that's gonna have to that's gonna so like that's gonna that's what's gonna get us through these these uh horrific times that we're coming into man you know and having faith also too man because what comes with the wisdom and the knowledge man faith man you know you got we you gotta have so like we we gotta have faith man and we gotta maintain it man and comes faith comes uh comes comes to work also man because how can you say you uh you have faith and you don't have nothing to show for it you know it says um start it over and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation and the fear of the lord yahweh is his is his treasure man and that's right man that's what's going to get us through these these times or these horrible times that we're uh, about to come upon, man. You know? You know? And once again, man, that's what's going to get us through this, man. Maintaining that faith, you know? Keeping the faith, man. You know? And once again, in order to show that you have faith, you got to have the work behind it, man. You know? You can't just say you got faith. You can't just wake up one day and be like, oh, yeah, I'm about to go do this work, man. No, man. It don't work like that, man. You know, first and foremost, the Lord got to get, the Lord got to put that, put that spirit on you to do that, man. The Lord gives you faith, man. And this is, uh, uh this is James chapter two and I'm going to start at, let me see, verse 15. This is, uh, this is James chapter 2, verse, verse 14, Salakia. It says, What doeth it profit, my brethren, though a man say he hath faith and have no works? Can faith save him? And that's right, man. And then the answer to that is no. You know what I'm saying? Faith can't save him if he don't have no works to show it, man. You know? How can how can you how is that faith? How is that having faith if you if you ain't been if you ain't if you don't got no work behind it, man? You know? A good example would be okay, someone who ain't never played 
basketball before a day in their life, man. And they can and they think they just about to come up to the NBA and become a, a head coach, man. How can you do that, man? You ain't you ain't got no you you ain't got no prior experience. You ain't played basketball a day in your life and you think you can be a head coach in the NBA, man? No, it don't work like that, man. It don't work like that with uh with Esau system. And, and guess what, man? It it, it it damn sure ain't gonna work with you how about shim you have a shot. You know? It don't work like that, man. You gotta you gotta you gotta have some you gotta put in this work, man. You gotta you gotta you gotta uh put your hand to the plow, man. You gotta get it in, man. That's how you show you have have faith, man. That's how you show you have faith. And um, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna jump down. I'm gonna jump down to verse seventeen. It says, uh. Verse 17, it says, Even so faith, if it hath not have not works, is dead, being alone. That's right, man. You know, if 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 you don't have no works backing you, you know, you don't have no faith, man. You don't really believe, man. If you if you don't if you if you don't even want to put in the work. If you don't want to put in the work, man, if you don't want to do what thus says the Lord say do, man, to the best of your ability, you you don't have no faith, man. If you can't if you can't make it out to the highways and byways and push just word, man, week in and week out to the best of your ability, man, that's you don't have faith in the, you don't have faith to do it, man. You know? That's putting in the work, man, putting your hand to that plow, man. Going out prophesying, man. Feeding, feeding his sheep, man. That's how you feed the, feed his sheep, man. Going out and pushing his word, man. I'll read that over again. It says, "Even so, faith." Well, James, James two and seventeen. Even so, faith, if it hath not works. It's dead being alone. And that's right, man. You know, it's dead, man. If you don't got no works, you don't got no faith. Clear and simple. Verse 18. Yea, a man may say, Thou hast faith, and I have works. Show me the faith without thy works, and I will show thee my faith by my works. That's right, man. You know, that's right. You gotta show your you gotta show your faith by your works, man. You know, and that's what it gotta be, man. You know, and 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 we gotta pray to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh man, for mercy, man, and to keep giving us this faith, man, and to keep giving us and 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 keep to keep allowing us to to stay in this truth, man. <laughs> Because the Lord could take it away, man. He could take it from you, man. This is a gift, man. It says, uh, um, I'm gonna jump. I'm gonna jump again. I'm gonna jump down to verse twenty-six. <coughs> It says, for as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. And that's just what it is, man. Faith without works is dead, man. It's dead. Faith without works is dead. You know, you, you can't get around that. It ain't no breaking that down, man. You know. We are commanded, you know. To push this word, man. Well commanded to push this word, man. You know, that shows your faith, man. Just what, what just what the scripture was getting into, man. Just got into. 
you know? Faith without works is dead, man. You gotta have you gotta have your works to back your faith, man. You know. Once again, man, we was commanded to push this word, man. Matter of fact. I'm gonna get one of the scriptures real quick. Plenty of them, but this one comes to mind. This is a. Uh, this is a uh, Ezekiel chapter three, verse seventeen. It says, "Son of man, I made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth." And give them warning from me. You know, basically telling them, look, a watchman, you know, go out and and and, and warn my people, man. Be a watchman. That's what a watchman is supposed to do. He's on watch, man, constantly watching them and observing the times, man. You know. It says verse 18, when I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die. And thou givest him not warning, nor speak nor speaketh to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life, the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thine hand. You know, and that's that's only right, man. You know, and the Lord basically saying, Look, man. You you know what's going on. You know this truth. All right, now go warn my people, man. You know, wash the blood off your hands. You know, that's what you got to do, man. You got to go put in that work, man. You know, and guess what? That shows that you have faith, man. That shows that you have faith. Faith in what, man? Faith in getting delivered, man. Faith in your how about shim your how to shine, man. You know, verse 19, it says, if thou warn the wicked and he turn not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity, but thou has delivered thy soul. And that's right, man. That's what, and that's what, that's what we need to be trying to accomplish. That's what we need to try to accomplish, man. You know, to deliver ourselves, man, you know. Wash that that's what we're trying to do too is wash that blood off of our hands, man. You know? But once again, man, this is how that's how you have faith, man. By putting in that work. Putting in the work, man. That was basically it. But yeah, man, once again, you know, faith without works is dead, man, like the scriptures say, man. You know, the Lord set us up to be watchmen, you know, to warn, to warn, to warn our people, man, you know. And that's how we, that's how we have that faith, man, by putting in that work, man, you know. So it's time, it's time. That we all put our hand to that plow, man. You know? If you ain't out there putting your hand to that plow, it's high time, man. It's high time, man. Because the time's about to... Hey, we, we only got but a moment left in this thing, Anki. You know? So, uh, with that, Lord willing, this was edifying. And uh, I want to close it out by giving infinite honors. To Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rakaq Dash, and double honors to the elders and apostles of a great millstone who pushed his truth 100%, being a great example to us younger brothers. And peace and blessing to the Akim up under the elders, pushing the same truth throughout the four winds with all faith, sincerity, and diligence. To you we say Shalom. Shalom, Akim.